Hey folks, Will Brink here at the Brink Zone. Uh, today I wanted to address quickly the uh, Consumer Reports article on uh, heavy metals in protein powders. Uh, obviously you've all heard about that. Um, got a ton of emails about it and uh, I was going to do a blog post or write an article as I usually do but I thought maybe the best way to address it was just to do a, a quick video like this and then I can get the points out a little faster. Uh, for starters, I don't look in medical science journals for my car and TV advice, so I, I don't recommend you getting your nutrition advice from Consumer Reports, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I have a subscription to Consumer Reports for cars and televisions, I think they're great. For nutritional advice, they're awful. Uh, I'm not going to beat around the bush about that, and that's not just this story. Uh, their prior information on supplements is generally just terrible. Uh, you know, some people have um, blamed them for having a, a specific anti-supplement agenda. I, I don't really think it's a, an agenda per se, I just think they're clueless. Uh, you know, they don't have anybody there that uh, uh, has the background for this type of thing, so they go interview quote-unquote experts, and as we all know, most of those uh, experts apparently don't bother to even look at the, uh, the research that exists. Uh, you'll notice that most of the article was really uh, an anti-protein or high-protein diet article before we even get to the heavy metal situation. And um, again, it's, it's hard to even comment because uh, I wrote an article in uh, Muscle Media um, over a decade ago on this, using the primary sources, that is the research, uh, published research data, that type of thing, showing that... Uh, there really are no issues to high protein diets and almost all of the claims they made have been debunked a long time ago, not even recently. And I updated that article. You can go to the Brink Zone and read an article called uh, Protein Myths That Must Die. It covers this topic at length and uh, again, um, I think it's just the clueless interviewing the clueless is all I can tell you. So that aside, uh, as far as the heavy metal thing uh, is concerned, uh, again, it was a bit of a hit piece, you know, they found uh, a few products out of a fairly long list were slightly over uh, on a couple of, of heavy metals. Um, and that's unfortunate. I think those companies that tested obviously should uh, take a very good, close look at their quality control and who they source their proteins from. I mean, remember, none of these supplement companies actually make these products. They source these proteins from big manufacturers and put them in a bottle for you. So if you think there's a... Uh, uh, you know, a bunch of scientists sitting around making dairy proteins. Believe me, that's not how it goes. But the fact of the matter remains that these are environmental um, toxins that are found in a lot of foods uh, in small amounts. The, you know, the CR report did, didn't put it in context as far as uh, what your exposure is in other foods. And a lot of foods that you eat have higher levels of, the, uh, of uh, mercury, lead. And, and absolutely, these are uh, contaminants that you want to keep to a minimum, no doubt. But uh, the CR report was assuming, I think, three servings a day, and I don't know anybody that's uh, doing three servings a day. And if you are, you are taking too many servings regardless of, uh, regardless of heavy metals. You should be getting most of your nutrients from food anyway, but that's beside the point. Uh, the issue here is Consumer Reports is just not uh, a good source of information for this type of stuff and should just basically be ignored. It uh, doesn't mean that those companies that are testing a slightly high uh, also uh, are off the hook per se, but I also have a uh, real question of the testing methodology CR used. The, they don't seem to uh, divulge much of that, and honestly, it's, it's just something they apparently wanted to do to uh, make a splash, and a splash it, it made them. So, obviously, uh, in the PR war, uh, that won because I got flooded with emails. Uh, what else can I add? I say. I really wouldn't sweat it. Again, I think those companies probably are going to scramble real hard to uh, uh, test their products thoroughly and probably will be giving press releases to show people that the products are well within uh, testing limits. And again, it, it, the problem with the CR report is mostly context. If anybody thinks that the foods we eat don't contain already low levels of these, of these contaminants, then again, you're living in fantasy land. Unfortunately, environmental contaminants at very low levels exist in our water, they exist in our vegetables, they exist in a lot of things. So, yes, you want to limit your intake of those uh, heavy metals. <clears throat> no, they're not rare in our food supply. No, those were not uh, particularly high doses if you look at what the uh, FDA regulations are and such. So, 
I honestly wouldn't sweat it and uh, you can continue to eat your protein powders and uh, I really wouldn't worry about it. If you want more information, stop by the Brink Zone. Uh, there's also free reports you can download, my blog, etc. And uh, I'll see you in the gym.